I think the biggest things we see that the public does not know about kidney health is one, that it can be prevented. I think that's one gap we know. Number two is many people don't know about some of the things they can do to prevent uh, kidney disease. And then the other thing that probably not many people know is that there is a time difference between you developing early kidney disease and finally getting kidney failure. And that in that time interval, things can be done to alter the course uh, and prevent ultimate failure of the kidney. If your kidney is failed, uh, completely and you need uh, help from a doctor, we have options for you. Um, if we have time and it's not an emergency, uh, we can control your diet, we can give you medications to control uh, your blood pressure, to control uh, the swelling mm -hmm. and you know, to control your overall health. If you come a bit late, then usually we have no option but to put you on dialysis and dialysis really helps and he has saved many lives. So dialysis is there, it's available. And uh, if you have NHIF, you get it for free under the cover of NHIF. And you know, once you're on dialysis, the next best thing to do is to you know, look for an alternative kidney. And uh, kidney transplantation is now available uh, in this country. You know, kidney transplantation is available in Nairobi, in at least two or three hospitals in Nairobi. And kidney transplantation is also available in Eldoret at, in at least three hospitals. So my message on this World Kidney Day is that people should live healthier lifestyles. And when I talk about healthier lifestyles, diet, cut down on salt, cut down on sugar, cut down on carbohydrates, okay? Keep a healthy weight, uh, exercise, hydrate well. So that will sort out lifestyle and would prevent diabetes, blood pressure, and kidney disease. Number two is people need to go for regular medical checkup, especially as you grow older. And by growing older here, I mean from the age of about 40 for most people. You need to be going for a checkup. You need to have your blood pressure checked. You need to have your blood sugar checked. You need to have your weight checked. And you need the professional help and counseling that goes with uh, lifestyle changes that might be necessary at certain points as you grow older. You'll also need your prostate checked, especially for the men, because prostate uh, enlargement has been associated with kidney failure as well. So people need to go for checkups. The third thing that people need to do uh, is to be careful with medications, especially medications bought off the counter. Some of the medications, especially the strong painkillers, have been known to harm the kidneys. Uh, if you need strong painkillers for extended periods of time, I would recommend that you seek professional opinion of a doctor so that you don't expose yourself to these medications for too long and risk damaging your kidneys.